we're going to be talking about innovation to enhance service delivery in the health sector. Patients and clinicians are ultimately demanding a better digital experience from healthcare. You know, one which matches that kind of experience that we have as consumers within the banking industry, online banking, within the media space, being able to access Netflix and other industries. Data capture technologies, communication and knowledge transfer technologies, consumer health technologies and artificial intelligence and robotics are some of the main four principles when you come to health technology. You know, mention all the many variables that need to go into this entire ecosystem, but actually who owns this data? I mean, with all the systems we can build, the design and everything, obviously it would be meaningless without the data. So we have the data which we're getting from the patients and we build all these beautiful technologies. But I don't seem to get to hear anyone trying to address a particular aspect, actually who should be owning it. The way we've looked at this solution is we're going to turn that on its head and basically you as an individual will hold your own data records and you will give those organizations access to it as and when you see fit. But I really want to understand why most of the organizations are trying to shy away from integrating whatever that they're doing with a blockchain system that is secure and that really gives power to the patient themselves. But then we forget, you know, that we still got 50 million people just in South Africa and insured. And as you go out of this country, you know, the problem just gets bigger. And I do think South Africa has got a fairly big challenge on the price of medicine still. And the second thing is actually physically getting the medicine, you know, so that's where we focused and that's our definition of last mile. As we know, that's going to make for a very long and lengthy conversation, considering that stakeholders, companies like my own, like Medsol, working in artificial intelligence and healthcare need to also have conversations with government, other stakeholders and research committees, how one can actually work together. Some of the issues that the insurance companies and some of the large medical device companies have to be able to apply predictive analytics that would, you know, look at the metadata and sort of look at lifestyles and look at various aspects of how a person is living or some of the indications that they have, blood pressure, what have you. The various indicators are able to be able to come up to them six months ahead of them having a heart attack and being able to, you know, help them not have that heart attack. But that only happens if you can share the data. I think there's a lot of opportunities in the cloud, but you know, digital is about access, digital is about experience, digital is about ease of use, but we are still quite resistant in the healthcare industry to letting people access certain records without having them physically present themselves. I think there's been some great debates and great discussions that's been raised in various aspects of how we improve healthcare within our country. I think we can all agree though that in order for us to be able to provide that unified healthcare change within our country, we need these kind of partnerships. We need this constructive debate that we're having here today. But more importantly, we've got to get the various stakeholders together that can start putting a cohesive strategy and plan together and bringing some of those role players together to say, great, we're talking a lot about this, but how do we actually make that change? There are so many possible casualties. If we're not careful, we might end up with a digital medical divide in the future if we don't already have that. But with that being said, this was a roundtable presented by Brainstorm and AWS. We were effectively talking the future of healthcare, digitizing healthcare, really broad discussion. Hope to see you at the next one and we'll see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.